What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. Disclaimer, this is not a reproduction of the movie Ratatouille. Welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. And in this one, you guys always ask me, you should make a video about the day in the life of the rat. I'm gonna go ahead and try and show you guys exactly what the rat does throughout the whole day. It is currently 10, 11. Still the morning time, the rat usually comes downstairs at around 9.30. At 9.30, first thing he does is hop outside so he could take a piss. Today it is raining, so I take him out to the front. After he's let out his five bark, guess what he does? He goes right back into his den. Let me uncover him so you guys can see what he looks like. There he is, the mystical rat. You guys can probably hear the homie Nismo hella scream. Bastard. Saved it. Freaking amazing save. The rat is a seven year old Applehead Chihuahua, originally bred in the sewers of Afghanistan. He was transported by an apple ship. The rat then ended up in California. I do know for a fact that he does visit the sewers late at night to smash. That's pretty much all he does for around half of the day, sleep. I have no idea what he does at night, probably sleep. Since these dogs are so tiny, they get extremely tired super easily. This dude has to take around 100 footsteps to match one of Crypto's leaps. We'll get back to you guys once the rat actually does something. As soon as he hears me take any steps towards upstairs, he comes out of his little den and he tries to follow me upstairs. The problem with this rat is that he is extremely scared of that step right there. Sometimes he might belly flop, sometimes he might not. Let's go ahead and take him to the front yard. He always loves to go. Come on. I'm surprised he didn't bark. Now he expects me to go upstairs, which he better not go without me. I feed the rat. The rat eats canned food. We usually give him pedigree. He does go outside to eat some kibble. This dog has very fragile teeth, so we just give his ass canned food. Sometimes he eats, sometimes he doesn't. He's a little freaking rat. <laughs> Good boy, that rat. Yet again, he expects me to go upstairs. This is the part I go upstairs. Go! Go, all right! His final step, he gets into my dirty laundry. You already know the rat. Wow. <laughs> he just wants to run. Go, the rat, go! Come on! Run! 
Today is November 15th, which means it's time to draw the winners. I am planning on shipping these through mail. Here's all the people that entered. Thank you guys so much for entering my very first giveaway. What we're about to do now is we're about to individually cut all the contestants. Oh, look, I added myself. Hopefully I win. <laughs> we're gonna put it in a bowl and draw four winners. I will then DM you guys. Let's get to cutting. KZE, when will you be hosting another giveaway? Next giveaway will be at 100,000 subs. We're more than halfway to that. So thank you guys for sticking along through this journey. I'm gonna put the rats in food real quick. Always interrupting damn videos. This is what we feed the rat. Some good old canned food. I realized that if you had a private account, there's no way on me noticing if you actually gave me a shout out and followed the steps besides direct messaging me, which some of you guys did do, so I did qualify you guys. Next time I'm gonna go ahead and have to think that through more, but let's find out exactly how many of you guys entered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, Lastly, 65. 65 of you guys entered into the giveaway. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and... Make sure they're nice and... Freaking... Jiggled. It's time. Let's go ahead and draw the first winner. I hope you guys are excited as I am. First winner will be Peachy Ryan. Peachy Ryan, you are the very first winner. Slide into their DMs. Oh, it's a female. No, I'm gonna slide in. You won. <laughs> One winner. Let's go ahead and. Draw another winner. You 1027 the beach. Third winner. Da -da -da. Beep beep ravioli. Last and final winner. Baby hippo. You guys have four days to get in contact with me. Progress you guys through the giveaway as things go by. I was completely determined to send these through mail. But then freaking ravioli comes at me and says, why don't you just send me the code? You are brilliant. This is pretty much the rat's favorite place to chill both at night and during the day. He just always comes inside my closet. I always have a blanket for him since I do know he loves to be in here. Before he had this blanket, he would always just Go into my dirty basket of laundry so at this point i don't even use that basket i just toss all the dirty laundry in here i know that the rat is in like super rat heaven i don't know i must smell really nice or something thank you the rat i do try and leave the rat outside for quite some time since this dog always wants to be inside it is good for him to be outside sometimes when the weather is extremely hot this dog's anal glands do seem to erupt but if you don't know what anal glands are <laughs> Shut up, dude. Come here, the rat. Not you, Crypto. Not you. Okay, book. Thank you. A dog's anal glands are these two little dimples right here on the side of their gooty hole. His anal glands have erupted probably around four times. It's a known thing for this to happen in small dogs, so there's nothing to worry about. It'll heal up just fine. Do notice that when it is extremely hot, they seem to erupt more often. In hot weather, we do keep them inside. The rat does eat kibble sometimes, as you guys just saw. There he goes. He goes one at a time. Go, go eat the kibble. There was a question asked that said, did the rat always like crypto? Hell no. We did get crypto as a puppy at three months old. You guys could imagine the fruit. He was completely destroying him with strokes. The rat would just always bark at crypto. It took him about 
probably half a year for him to actually get accustomed to him one thing i did do in order for him to start liking crypto is i got a hold of the rat like so and i put him in crypto's face of course he wouldn't do this on his own will he wouldn't just come up to crypto that's gonna go ahead and be it for this one just a little quick inside look on the lavish lifestyle of the rat i know you guys do love seeing the rat if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.